Hello there! Welcome to my new tutorial about temples and dwarf fortress. In this one I'm going to talk about what temples are good for, how to set them up, and what's worth knowing about them. So this time I'm going to start with the technical setup of the temple and then I'm going to explain how it all works from there. So we have this room here. This is a room that's large enough. I'm going to talk about how large a temple must be in a second. First, let's draw a meeting area above that. Keep in mind that you pick the walls as well. And then you press the plus sign, new temple, and then you get to select what god it should be dedicated to. So about the size, your temple requires a free dance hall that needs to be five on five grids. That's the requirement. Beyond that, it's up to you how large or small you want to make the temple. I personally like setups like six on five, so you definitely have one row open, whatever. It just, it just has to have a dance hall with five on five grids. Otherwise, your dwarves will not be able to do their religious thing in there. The next thing here is like I mentioned, you have to check on out what kind of uh, what god you want to dedicate to. You see how many worshippers your god has. If you don't know what kind of god you should uh, worship, dedicate the temple to, it's always worth checking out your unhappiest dwarves and if they have in their unmet needs bar a certain god that they want to pray to. Because that's quite often the case. You uh, hear unmet need, pray to as Tong. So I, I often check out my unhappiest dwarves and uh, the unhappiest ones get their first temple. So in this scenario, we're just going to dedicate this to whoever we want. I just want to mention here, the cyan ones are temples dedicated to the specific god. The yellow ones are, are sects, religious structures of sorts that still do worship a certain god. But uh, as you see here, um, they they have other attributes as well. So we're going to pick up here Urtel Trade Tax, which is here the focus of the Order of the Markets as well. So the Order of the Markets is a sect worshipping Urtel Trade Tax, but also worshipping other things on the side, just so you know how they, these things are meant to work. So we select that and then the church is or the temple is established when you now click in here you see that this thing has now a value how many worshippers there are how many chests it has how many instruments it has and uh, which performers are working there the real cool thing about your temple is you can leave it like that and it already works it is everything it has already everything it requires in the current state to satisfy the need of religious activity for your dwarves they will go on in there and pray in there as it is already if you want to increase the value of course smoothing and engraving are the usual suspects to go for because these increase the value of your room quite tremendously and besides that you can also or should also in the long run drop a chest inside there because your temples can also store instruments. So temples request up to five instruments inside your uh, inside this chest that you can provide, and these instruments will be used for various religious activities. The gist of it is, if you have instruments, the quality of the stay will be better. If you don't have instruments, the quality will be a little bit lower, but your dwarves will still satisfy their religious needs, which is really, really important to note. Because the longer a dwarf cannot satisfy his religious needs, the worse the bad thoughts will grow. So ultimately, it's really important to give your dwarves the religious support they need, because it is a stacking debuff if you don't bring it up. And considering how easy temples are set up, it's uh, really no... It's really not necessary to to get that to your to do that to your dwarves. So let's talk about the performer here. The performer is one dwarf which will then do religious uh, activities for the people present. The performer is therefore increasing the quality of the um, of the stay in the temple again. But I, this is one thing where the informations I got are stating that it is not that necessary, but the other sources said that it is 
definitely worth it now. I really would like to have some confirmation there, but my newest informations told me that a performer inside the temple does increase the value of the um, of the service. So another thing here, when you get yourself a one of those yellow temples, this is one of them. So this is a temple from the Order of Markets. These get a special job, a priest. So the uh, the temples of that not only worship a certain god, they don't have priests, but sects they do have priests. The priest is kind of a similar person like the performer so it is uh, just a, a element that increases the quality of your services yet again so to establish your temple you see there is again a value thing so the temple does count the value of all the grids inside that's for example why this temple from my uh from my previous thing is a bad thing so if that ever happens to you you can easily just assign that also overlapping walls like that no problem so here we go and uh, increasing the value will then bring it to the rank of a proper temple worth mentioning is sects that have enough worshippers will ultimately petition you to build them a temple like this one if you don't do that within a year your people will grow unhappy because of that these requests are really worth doing them because it is just such a uh, such a freebie in terms of happiness and a bad thing if it doesn't come together besides that well you can dump into these uh, temples whatever furniture is valuable yet again it is all about the monetary value of the items dumped inside there the game does not really consider any logical value of these items you can put a bed in there, but you can also put a cabinet in there. As long as it's valuable, it'll help increasing the power of the temple, so to say. So after the whole thing has been smoothed, we're going to engrave it, and then usually you already hit the 2000 mark. If it doesn't uh, come together at that point, just slap in some statues or anything uh, else valuable in your possession, and you're good to go. All right, so I hope you found that helpful. Temples are a really powerful and simple tool to make your dwarves happier, especially in the early phases of the game when you have unhappy dwarves. Just uh, help yourself with the temple, give them a place to pray at, and most importantly, provide temples if they are requested, because it is a ever-stacking thing if you don't. Thanks for watching. Drop me a comment down below if you have anything to add or to say. I'd be loving to hear from you. Also, feel free to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe. There's lots of content on my channel. I do daily videos like that, so uh, feel free to knock yourself out. Also, down there in the description box is a link to the entire playlist of my tutorials for Dwarf Fortress, so you might want to check that out as well. Whatever might be the case, thanks for watching up until this very point. Have a wonderful day, and see you soon.